Yo, Cop Chat TV, we got over the line. Uh, close, close. I'm not going to lie to you. People like, yeah, 5 nil, 6 nil. It weren't one of them games. They weren't They weren't here for the 5 nil, 6 nil. And to be fair, neither was we. Salah, I don't know if it's because of the Ramadan thing, he's fasting, but he looks a bit off of it. When we subbed him off, I was a bit, mm, but it was a good win, man. It was a needed win. 3-1. Um, two goals again in the last 15 minutes we're throwing away too much goals we're allergic to clean sheets I think that's one clean sheet at Anfield in our last 10 games it's not good enough but it's the end of the season now we ain't got time to be resetting the whole thing changing the whole outlook of how we play this is how Klopp plays heavy metal football we're winning 2-1 there's 5 minutes left the, the, the centre backs getting a ball and both of our wing backs are bombing on. There's no point moaning about it. It's our game management is zero in it. Until Curtis Jones came on and controlled the set a bit more, that's why I like Curtis Jones. But McAllister, right now, I don't know when they vote for Player of the Year, but right now he's looking. If we win the league, McAllister might get Player of the Year. And to be honest probably deserves it. Another shout out for Virgil van Dijk because we got... I was going to say, man, but while you're on McAllister, who, which goal do you think was better? The Fulham or the today? It might be recency bias, but I feel like the goal today was better because the way he just, like, when it even rolled back to him, you just knew he was going to slap that. And the way he slapped it outside of the boot and it curled away into the binny bin bin, the one against Fulham was absolutely rude. It was further out. Might have been more technical, but this one was just power and precision. Slap. Needed as well. It's needed. Penultimate moment. Like, what do they call it? Clutch. 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 That's what it was. It was clutch. So, the fact that you even got a goal to compare with that one shows you that he's on things. Can't believe I ain't got him in my fantasy league team. Poor, poor by me. Poor, 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 Just know he's coming in. I shouldn't even give that information away. I can't even let the people them know what I'm doing. But boy, happy for Gakpo. Happy for Gakpo came on, needed that goal. And it was a good finish. It was a calm finish, relaxed. Our finishing is not there. I've said it before. Nunes and Diaz, yeah, they're good. But in that final moment, like, Nunes, Diaz has done things, beat a couple players, but final pass just weren't there man I think the first half we had 84% possession and we're 1-0 up I'm just thinking like if we don't score the goal they're just going to equalise with some dickhead goal what happens they get the ball on the right I felt like the Brer skipped past Joe Gomez way too easily on the right side I think Nunes lost the ball Graven Birch kind of I don't want to say bottled at 50-50 you're coming back from injury so you didn't want to get injured again but the 50-50 was there you didn't go Blood of Thunder, you didn't go full Julian Dix for it. Bam, they broke down the right, headed it back. Got a Bradley own goal. I think that's his second own goal, you know. Did score a bad way own goal in the Europa as well. So, and even people say, no, Trent can't defend. Trent always gets caught out of position. Look now, Connor Bradley's doing the same thing. So it's obviously what them, this is where the manager wants them to stand. He wants our right back and left back up the pitch. Furthermore, Joe Gomez is blatantly in centre mid. So what was he gonna say about Van Dyke? Van Dyke's just gotta play with whoever's around. That's the dread thing for Van Dyke. Like obviously Gabriel and Saliba are wicked pairing, but they're both fit all the time so they get to play together and build up their, their relationship. One minute Virgil's playing with Kwanzaa. At the beginning of the season it was Matip. Gomez not so much Gomez has been right back and left back. Then it's Konate it's whoever's there plus the goalie as well I think now with this game Keller has played more games this season than Alisson so without trying to do yeah yeah he's overtaken Alisson the last game they were even this season Keller has played more games than Alisson obviously not just in the league Europa as well and cup games but he's played more games than Alisson this season overall which is wild so for us to be where we are top of the top it's a lot Last time we checked, Man United was beating Chelsea 3-2 after Chelsea was tuning up. I don't want to speak, but good. Let them come Let them come to the game against us with Chester and not part of the bus. Because it seems to me 
that the part of the bus thing is is the worst for us to play against. It's, we're better when you try and play a bit against us. Come and play. Safe. City. I saw City was drawing one all. Man was messaging me like, come on, let's do Villa. We've been through this for seasons. I don't even watch Man City no more. A, I'll be honest, I find them kind of boring. And B, you know they're going to win. Like, I'll just check the score at the end of the game. Might do a little match of the day and watch the thing. Foden, can't lie, Foden is an absolute rude boy. Arsenal won as well, played their second string, but Luton, they was always going to win that. So I didn't really hold out much hope. I still feel a little bit before the game, but when when the games, the team came out and they didn't have no Watkins, no John McGinn, no Powell Torres, their goalie weren't playing. I don't know. What could you say? Hopefully they do that when we play them. Um, Tottenham drew Tottenham drew with West Ham yeah Newcastle did, what did Newcastle do they drew as well right I think they drew with Everton yeah Calvert Lewin scored Lewin but um, yeah big game McAllister man of the match won the game that's what we needed to do we needed the three points we got the three points eight games left as I said, there's no time to reset the way we play. We just need to win eight games. Go good on. to have good to have Jones back in the squad. Happy to see Jones back. Now it's just Trent and Jota we need to see back. And Allison. And Allison. We need Allison back. The goal today could could have saved it. It's a bit harsh. It's a bit harsh. It was a deflection. But whenever the ball not makes the goal, you always just got to think like, oh, come on. Listen, it was a big result. We got the result. We needed it, and we got it. 15 minutes to go. We was all, we, 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 what did they say? Squeaky bum time. It was squeaky bum time. I'm not going to lie, but we just need to cut out these stupid goals. It's like we can see it against whoever we play. We can see it. Like, if you're going to put a bet on Liverpool, just put on both teams to score at Liverpool to win, because we're conceding. Like, and it's straight, because we got the best centre-back around that we're still conceding. And we're giving up chances as well. They, could, they had a couple chances in the first couple of minutes as well. So, but as I said, this is just how we play. Just accept it and move on. Next season, we're going to have a new manager. Things will be different. Hopefully, they'll be better. More likely, they might not be. But we don't need to worry about that yet. Four matches. Is it four home or four, four away left? I think it's four home or four away. So, let's get it, man. Club Chat TV, like, comment, subscribe. Every time you do that, it helps me out. I'm not going to lie to you. People come and just say whatever. It helps me out. Got a little one, two haters there messaging me foolishness. Respect to you, man, as well. Respect, because it helps the algorithm anyway. Whatever you say, so big up yourself. Bomsky.